ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಉದ್ಧವಗೀತ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಪೇಜ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನು ವಾಚ ಪ್ರಗಾಯೃಪದೇವ ಸೂರ್ವಶೀಲೋಕಶಯುಥೋ ವಿಹಾಯ ಸೂರ್ವಶೀಲೋಕಮಥೋ ವಿಹಾಯ ಆತ್ಮನಮಾತ್ಮನ್ಯವಗಮ್ಯಮಾಂ ವೈ ಉಪಾರಮಜ್ಞಾನವಿಧೂತಮೋಹ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಪುರೂರವಸ್ ಪುರೂರವಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ he went along with urvasi to devaloka he is addressed as deva devaha also he is great among devas also and among great kings also pururavas is a very famous king in our puranas it comes a great lesson he teaches through his life we see in our puranas or history or any great mahatma some of them even including bhartruhari also many yogis also sometimes it happens in the initial stages of life they take to a materialistic life either kings or other people they take to materialistic life that means artha kama pradhana life lifestyle money our wealth is very much given importance because it gives security and these materialistic people they give importance to kama also pleasures because they give comforts to them it is very natural just as water flowing towards downwards naturally artha kama is very very natural for every human being including animals they also seek security without cash money they also seek security they also seek pleasures so artha kama is common for other beings also and human being also in the initial stages uh, they tend to become slaves to that too much of uh, security craving pleasure craving and they lead a uh, luxurious life lavishly they spend and they enjoy sense of pleasures also initially this is a uh, very common but uh, to develop uh, dharma and moksha purusharthas you have to work for it to go towards artha kama there is no need of much effort there is no much struggle 
because our senses are, are asking, we are going for that. It looks very nice also. But uh, that life is incomplete. Materialistic life is incomplete. Therefore, two more purusharthas, if you don't fulfill in your life, there will be a vacuum in your life, in any human being life. What are those two purusharthas? You know, dharma purushartha and kama purushartha. Doing noble actions for noble punya you get by through noble actions. That punya gives sukha to you, dharmic action, dharmic jivanam, righteous life. For that you have to put an effort. Even for moksha also, you have to put an effort. You have to use your willpower there. You have to, just as water to pump to the tank, you have to use some you know, motor like that. Here also, dharma, moksha, purushartha cannot be very, very natural. Some persons, some individuals, um, from young age they will have vairagyam and they come to dharma, moksha, purushartha in initial stage of life itself. But maximum people, they go through that artha kama purushartha like pururavas one of the example this pururavas also at his initial stages he was fallen in love with urvasi that is why love he has fallen they say eh? fallen means what to fall in flat <laughs> that love would become the lust also in real love, there is a no, um, no connection between love and lust. See, lust is, uh, um, people do not know the difference between love and lust. Love never demands, never command. Lust demands and commands. <laughs> people think lustful life as a love owner. Our Shastra talks about love, prema, is uh, possible between brother, sister, friend, uh, between two friends, uh, love is possible, between Guru, Shishya, that bhakti, prema is possible, through wife and husband, children and parents, love is common. Love is common between any human being to human beings. But the lust is more harmful. The materialistic life is lust. Lust is more dangerous. It takes away the person from spiritual life. The religious and spiritual life must be a part of your public life also. Unfortunately, in present uh, um, society, from long time, few decades, the religion and spirituality, they are thinking they have to be private. They should not be public. Religion and spirituality, which God you are worshipping, whom you are worshipping, and you are wearing that um, all... Uh, marks of that religious marks, what you wear, Vibhuti, Chandan, Rudrakshamala, Spatikamala, whatever you are wearing, wearing, you know, lot of bindi, flowers, so many things, these are all showing your religious way of life. The dress you are wearing, all these religious, they don't want to show outside. That is why many people before going to office, they remove their Vibhuti, and they remove their chandan and nowadays uh, ladies also not putting kunkuma or bindi at all and they putting a black dot whether it is there or not i would not know buttu is there or not black dot i do not know where from this black dot has come kanyakumari to kashmir 
black dot the sticker how they take and how they put i am not able to understand it till today and they look uh, as the christians and muslims even hindus also look like christians and muslims faces this black dot that means religious marks they don't want to show public and spirituality also keep your spirituality with you in your puja room in your personal room spirituality don't talk outside about bhagavad gita about puranas about your god and all don't talk outside in offices colleges everywhere this is what going on that means what what is the consequence the religion and spirituality are not taken to public you keep personally to yourself and nobody knows outside what will happen in the society at present society what is happening that will happen what is that materialism materialism khao pio maza karo enjoy i told you know when i went to sneha yatra in madhya pradesh even small children taking gutka that nasha gutka they are putting in their mouth 10 year old 9 year old in every maximum villages and even including colleges girls boys i heard that they are drinking and taking all drugs also this is what materialism happens lot of uh, easy going life without disciplines without brahmacharya without control over senses they are all uh, you know secretly happening in the um, society how dangerous it is how much we weak they are at a young age itself with drugs with alcohol with you know sense pleasures with relations with opposite sex very freely moving and all what type of physical strength they will have what type of intellectual strength they can have they succumb to sense pleasures at a young age 15 16 or even early itself they are having such bad relations and what type of person he can become such an young generation how harmful to the society how they become the builders of this nation therefore these are all materialism facets why you should not because secular we are all secular in the name of secular you should not wear bangles you should not wear bindi outside you should not wear flowers outside you should not wear flowers to office you should not wear a, no vibhuti to office what is this hmm? that is why religion and spirituality once they vanish in from public um, materialism will grow selfishness will grow and all sorts of corruption cutthroat will take place that is what we are seeing in the society newspaper if you take you cannot read if you start news hearing everywhere lot of you know crime corner and or corner paper or time corner what is that crime corner why crimes are happening in the society crimes are happening because of materialism insult to put a crime corner in the paper is an insult for a society we have to feel shame that materialistic life initial stages uh, some people become slaves to that but some people come out of that uh, like pururavas but all people cannot come out www women when wealth and wine that is uh, not our culture more harmful for individual growth as well as family growth as well as society entire humanity they are threat therefore we have to learn a lot from our puranas how great this purusha was recognized his mistake and he started repenting a monologue is going on what is that monologue a guide is required for you a best friend or guru or well wisher 
or any elderly person like satsanga dussangaha sarvada tyajyaha satsangaha sarvada karyaha may you have satsanga satsanga means not sat and sangna people you write satsanga spelling uh, sat and sangna satsangna sitting and singing no not sitting and singing you have to listen to the words of a noble person about scriptures you have to learn what is the righteous life how to lead a life how to be disciplined and how to take care of oneself and family and society all these responsibilities he has to know that is called satsanga unfortunately in the name of satsanga people are doing bhajans not for bhajans satsang means not for bhajans satsang means subhashitam you have to live a dharmic life for higher purpose moksha purpose that if we forget for next generations for our children their life will be more miserable family parents responsibility or grandparents responsibility is to see that children must lead a dharmic religious life in the young age then they come to spirituality safely artha kama food shelter clothing all are required but that is not the be all and end all of our life modern society western culture has got such an idea of materialism that materialism because of that only they are all um, you know um, unrest in the world unrest in the world a lot of country between country and country there is a lot of tug of war between states and states tug of war between language and language groups tug of war between caste and other caste tug of war where tug of war is not there when materialism is there every point of relation there is a tug of war the tug of war comes out that it starts in the mind the tug of war starts in the mind then it comes out that makes the society family unrest agitation fully starts that is not going to be helpful for anyone so this type of characters when we study pururavas in his monologue is telling may you all have satsanga never have dussanga a person who is having bad qualities drinking or drug addiction a womanizer no sense of pleasures running for that never have such a person's near shadow also it should not fall on you he is a shadow hmm? what to talk of a friendship he is a shadow also should not fall near on you that you have to be very careful otherwise your life will become waste that's why we have to see our children grandchildren with whom they are moving with whom they are doing friendship what books they are reading what um, programs they are seeing in youtube what programs they are seeing in the internet all these are you know, manipulating their minds nowadays children are like that only they are all having you know phone in their hands the whole world is there in a, in their hands they are not under the control of parents and not grandparents and grandparents says my children are not bringing my grandchildren properly therefore i want to bring my grandchildren properly and say can you do that at the age of 70 parents duty grandparents should not take parents duty must be done by parents not by grandparents so grandparents should not worry about them because they have not given guidance to their children because of modern lifestyle and the dress wearing the food what they are eating and my children are not bringing my bringing up my grandchildren properly and sonna 
அது எப்படி இட் ஓன்ட் ஒர்க் அண்ட் தே ரிஜெக்ட் த கிராண்ட் பேரண்ட்ஸ் கிராண்ட் சில்ட்ரன் ரிஜெக்ட் த கிராண்ட் பேரண்ட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் நவ் மெனி பிளேசஸ் ஐ ஹவ் சீன் தட் பிகாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மோடர்னிசம் மோடர்னைசேஷன் ஆர் மெட்டீரியலிசம் புரூரவர்ஸ் வார்னிங் ஆல் பீப்புள் மே யூ ஆல் ஹாவ் சர்வதா சத்சங்கா நது துஸ்சங்கா தேர் ஃபார் எ குரு எ கைட் எ பர்சன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் காட் ஷாஸ்திரா அண்ட் ஹூ இஸ் அ டீச்சிங் டெடிக்கேட்டட் தட்ஸ் வை எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ்லி தெர் ஆர் பீப்புள் இன் அவர் சொசைட்டி ஸோ மெனி சுவாமிஜிஸ் ஸோ மெனி மகாத்மாஸ் ஸோ மெனி ஆசிரமாஸ் ஸோ மெனி ம஠ாஸ் ஸோ மெனி குருஸ் அண்ட் சன்னியாசிஸ் அண்ட் நான் சன்னியாசிஸ் ஆர் ஆல் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் இன்டு செவன் தேர் ஒர்க்கிங் ஃபார் த வெல்ஃபேர் ஆஃப் திஸ் சனாத்தன தர்ம ஆச்சினோதி சாஸ்திராணி ஆச்சாரே ஸ்தாபயத்தபி ஸ்வயம் ஆச்சரத்தே எஸ்மாத் தஸ்மாத் ஆச்சாரிய உச்சதே சச் எ கிரேட் டீச்சர் டீச்சர்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் சத்சங்க இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் தேர் ஃபோர் வாட் புரூரவஸ்ட் பிராக் பிரகாய மீன்ஸ் ஆஸ் தோ சிங்கிங் பிரகாய மோனோலாக் டைலாக் கோயிங் ஆன் இன் ஹிஸ் மைண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் லீவிங் தி ஊர்வசி லோகா தேவலோகா அத விஹாய ஹேவிங் கிவன் அப் ஹர் ஹி ரிகக்னைஸ் ஹிஸ் மிஸ்டேக் வாட் ஐ ஹேவ் வேஸ்டட் மை லைஃப் இன் சென்ஸ் ப்ளஷர் யூ கேன் ஹேவ் மோடரேட்லி அர்த்த காம ஆல்சோ If you go beyond its limit, dharma ka moksha will be totally no, nil. No. Then there is a vacuum in one's life. Vacuum means what? Struggle, pain, restlessness, anxiety, worry, all are the indications of um, no, moksha dharma absence. Okay. See the third line. after recognizing that he got a satsanga and he went to a mahatma he studied shastra you have to understand he understood that aham brahmasmi then that krishna is telling he buddhava pururavas has understood later mam atmanam atmani hmm? atmanam atmani avagamya having understood me the atma swarupam as his atma in his mind the uh, knowledge has uh, arisen then upara uparamat he has withdrawn that agnana has gone he became quiet quieten down very very quietened அஜானம் விதூத மோஹா தட் அஜானம் வெண்டவே அஜானம் விதூத விதூத மோஹா உபாரமத் ஸோ தட் புரூரவஸ் பிகேம் ய ஜானி தட் மோனோலாக் இஸ் கோயிங் ஆன் அப் டு ஹியர் வி சா இன் த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் so viveka vairagya and he is free from all attachments and he did satsanga and he studied shastra he recognized urvas is not the cause for my struggle problem my own my own mind is the cause for all my problems he recognized that's why nobody is responsible for our failure in our life we are only responsible you have choice and will power in your hands why to blame others blaming others is easy accepting one's own uh, limitation accepting one's own uh, mistake is very difficult the moment a person recognizes his or her mistake knowingly or unknowingly it has happened recognize and correcting oneself is very very important 
as Pujya Swamiji says, problem is you, solution is you alone. Next shloka, 26. Tato dusanga musruja Sasu sajita buddhimanam Santas etasya chindanti Mano vyasanga mukti vihi All are wonderful shlokas that uh, person Urras was continuing Tataha therefore Therefore means wherefore, since Pururavas has recognized, discovered his mistake and uh, developed repentance in his heart and went to a Mahatma Satsanga and attained Jnanam, therefore he is singing his own dialogue like uh, his you know, uh, monkey bath, we can say. <laughs> Just as Narendra Modi ji gives talk, no? monkey bath every month, fourth Sunday, 11 to 11.30, he gives monkey bath. Like that here, Purura was monkey bath. Okay. Monkey bath, Modi ji about country, okay, not his family, personal, any monkey bath. But here also, Purura was monkey bath. <laughs> What is in his heart? What he says? He is advising the people. The people who go wrong way and uh, recover, they feel very bad. No one should lead like this my life like people and they want to give guidance to others. They are very much worried about uh, other people. No one should lead life like me. Uh, Purura was also feeling. Therefore, he says, Dusanga Musrija. Oh, people, may you all give up Dusanga. Bad company. Bad company. No, no. Moving with those people who are having um, worldly thinking about always Artha, Kama, and pleasures. A pros the prosperity is also a papam lot of wealth, so much of money is also a papam when you don't use that for dharma. That is why many people are suffering in spite of uh, richness. Why they are suffering out of richness? Because they never use that money or wealth for dharmic activities. They never make use of that for uh, social cause. If they use that for social cause, they can get punya. Other, that is why prosperity is a papam if it is not utilized for right charity, dharmic way. Otherwise, it is a burden for a person. Dusanga mutsujan. Ustraja means having given up. Therefore, May you all give up this dusanga. Satsu sajjeta. Satsu means may you surrender to an acharya. Satsu means acharya. When you associate with an acharya, sajjeta, associate with a viveki, a person who is a buddhiman. Satsu sajjeta buddhiman. A viveki, a person who is having a normal viveka, let me not have a bad friendship. Let me go to a good person, noble person, who is talking about dharma, moksha. Huh? This dusanga is what? Always talking about ardhakama. That is called dusanga. <laughs> what is dusanga? Not only wine, not only liquor, not only bad habits. Always talking about Ardha Kama Pradhana, that person is also a Dussanga. Whereas Satsanga, Buddhiman, Viveki, intelligent person who knows how to live intelligently, he associates with the Satsanga people. Then what they give? What they say? Because of that Satsanga, Santaha Etasya Chindanti. Once you associate with a 
Mahatma, great noble person here, great Mahatma, noble, and don't take who is having Siddhis, some mystic powers, and who is having a lot of devotees. No, you have to take an Acharya who is having scriptural knowledge in his hand. That person is called Satsang, Santahan. Santaha, one who is um, independent um, of uh, all um, pleasure, independent of all these uh, worldly entanglements. A person who is independent of worldly entanglements, whose uh, peace and happiness are not depending upon the worldly pleasures. Whether wealth is there or not, he is happy, is santosha, always it is there. Santaha, etasya chindanti. Etasya means a person who approach a Mahatma, noble person. That Mahatma destroy, chindanti means destroy. That etasya of this person, mano vyasangam. Mano vyasangam means uh, his um, um, mind that which is going towards uh, materialistic priority, misplaced priorities of life. Mano Vyasangam, a person who is having misplaced priorities, Arthakrama priorities, from that uh, Vyasangam, through his Vukti Bihi, by his teaching, see satsang means teaching, Vukti Bihi, by his words, he removes, he removes what, here Vukti Bihi means that uh, Mahatma, that Acharya, Guru teaches what is Nishkama Bhakti, what is Nishkama Karma, what is Eka Rupa Bhakti, what is Vishya Rupa Bhakti, what is Arupa Ishvara Jnanam, all he will teach and you can practice, you can learn, that is uh, possible. Through that uh, words of uh, Acharya, this person's uh, Ajnanam will go away, he removes by his teachings. Therefore, always uh, think about a Acharya, Guru. Without Guru, life is empty. Next shloka, 27. Santo na peksha machitta ham prashanta samadarshina ham nirmama nirahankara Nirdvanvanishparigraham. Who are these uh, noble people, Acharyas, Santaha? How they are able to destroy your Ajnanam, your um, Mano Vyakulata? How they can guide you? Because they are all Anapekshaha. They don't expect anything from anyone. Anapeksha, apeksha rahitaha. Santaha, santaha is the subject of the sentence. Santaha, acharyas, great acharyas. Anapekshaha, without expecting anything. All these are predicates. Maschittaha, anapekshaha, prashantaha. All this second line also, all are predicate. Bhavanti is the sub verb you have to supply. Anapekshaha, number one. Because they don't expect anything. All Mahatmas in our country, there are so many sadhus, acharyas, great, great acharyas. They don't expect anything from anyone. They are always giving, giving, giving. <laughs> so, anapekshaha. Machittaha. Their minds are always uh, thinking about me only. Who says? Krishna says, Maschittaha. Bhagavan in Eka Rupa and in Vishwarupa, in Arupa, their mind is always uh, moving in that only, with that knowledge. Maschittaha. Prashantaha. That is why their minds are so calm and quiet. 
कृशाता मच्चिता अनपेक्षा समदर्शिन देर आलवेज हाविंग हियर समदर्शि मीन आत्मदर्शि इन भगवद्गीता आलो शंकराचार्य से समदर्शिन मीन सम मीन वाट आत्मा इज द सम इन एवरी बीयिंग इन आत्मा इज यूनिफॉर्मली देर नो ग्रडेशन दट आत्मा हुच इज यूनिफॉर्मली देर इन एवरी वन द वन हू अंडर्स्टैंड दैट इज ए कॉल समदर्शि दिस इज द फिलोसॉफिकल मीनिंग ऑफ समदर्शि There is another meaning. People normally understand samadarshi means seeing everyone equally. Na seeing everyone equally is not samadarshanam. That is wrong darshanam. Asamadarshanam. Seeing equally all means you cannot see a person, boss and servant, doorkeeper and boss, owner of the company, samadarshanam. Na you cannot make them equally sit together. Na no no na everybody is equal. Na. That is wrong, according to Dharma Shastra. Apujya yatra pujyante pujya anam cha vichikrimam tatra trini vartante maranam durbiksham bhayam. Whom you should not worship, you worship suppose, and to whom you have to worship, you don't worship, and you worship whom you should not worship, and respect. that person that place that country will always have drought durbiksham there will be a bhayam and maranam you should not do that at vyavaharika level there is a gradation samadarshanam means you should not look down upon others ekavedi trivedi divedi chaturvedi chaturvedi ki you have to give more dakshana All are studied only Veda only, na Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda. When Veda something they have studied, they will give equal Guru Darshan. Na you are not supposed to give like that. Chitur Vedi is great. You have to give more Guru Darshan to Chitur Vedi. Then Tri Vedi, more Tri Vedas who have studied. Then Dvi Vedi, then Ek Vedi. Hmm? That's why Sama Darshan means uh, people have to understand properly here. Samadarshana means vyavaharikali. There is a gradation according to their level of understanding, their status, their knowledge. That is to be taken care of. Samadarshana means here Atma is uh, um, everywhere in everyone. Sarvatma Bhava is called Samadarshana because they have their knowledge. This Atma Gnanam is there for them. Then Nirma Maha, without any mindness, ownership, Nirahankara Ha. They don't have any um, ownership towards body, mind. Nirma Maha means uh, ownership towards possessions, family, other members. No control. They don't control. seeing that they are mine they don't control even body mind also this is my body my mind they never think like that this is given by bhagwan i am using it whatever bhagwan gives i accept as karma phalam and whatever bhagwan given processions of family members they are all belongs to bhagwan i am only a trustee i am not i am not having any ownership i never claim they are mine and including body mind also this is that's why deho devalaya proktah bhagwan's temple body is not yours if you abuse it is you know you are doing uh, harm to bhagwan only if you abuse your body with bad habits if you don't eat properly if you eat more and you sleep more if you don't sleep also all if you abuse your bodily disciplines you are abusing the bhagwan's rules and regulations in this creation then bhagwan will punish through your karma the punishment will come it will not go away one day or other you will suffer therefore never transgress 
the Bhagavan's uh, order of this creation. You don't have any right. This is Bhagavan's creation. Everything is given by Bhagavan. You are only user. You are not the controller. That person knows. Vinani knows I am not the controller. I am only the user. Whatever given knowledge, given strength, everything is Bhagavan's blessing. Bhagavan's grace, I am making use of it. Therefore, let me make use of my strength, my knowledge, whatever I am having for others. Because everything is Bhagavan's creation. If I am serving others, I am giving knowledge to others, I am giving money to others, I am giving Bhagavan's money to others, I am giving Bhagavan's given knowledge to others. Whatever Bhagavan has given to me, I am passing. So Bhagavan says that you are the pipeline. I am giving money to you. Through you, you it is, should go to the family, to the society. I am giving knowledge to you. Through you, it has to go outside to the public. I am giving singing power. I am giving dancing power. I am giving writing power. I am giving you know, so all talents. I am giving through that you have to serve the humanity. For that only Bhagavan has given. Therefore, an intelligent person, Gnani, says always, I am nothing, God's grace. The God is, has decided, I am just a, a simple instrument in his hand. He is making use of me, that's all. I am very happy to be an instrument in the hands of Bhagavan so that I can also make my life purposeful, meaningful. <coughs> Of course, joyful. <laughs> that is the greatness of uh, Mahatma's great Acharyas. Nirmama. <coughs> without any mindness, without any eyeness. Nirahankara. <coughs> uh, nirahankara means eyeness towards ego, towards body, mind. Nirahankara. Without any uh, ego towards body and mind. Nirmamaha without any uh, ownership towards uh, family and possessions. Nirdvandva <coughs> Free from all pair of opposites. <coughs> Nirdvandva Dvandva means pair of opposites. What are the pair of opposites in Bhagavad Gita we saw? Uh, mana, apamana, jaya, apajaya, sukha, dukha, all these uh, dvandvas, pair of opposites. They are free. Nirgataha, dvandva, esmat. So they are all free from all opposite <coughs> traits, pairs of opposites. Nish, nishparigraha <coughs> uh, in Bhagavad Gita we saw in Bhashyam also we are seeing Sattvika Karta Siddhya Siddhyo Samo Bhutva Samatvam Yoga Uchyate there are uh, many times Siddhya Siddhyo Nirvikara Siddhya Siddhyo Samo Bhutva Siddhi Asiddhi accomplished or not accomplished so what is uh, same without any difference. Nishram, nishparigraha means without any accumulation, without any um, possessions. Uh, holding, holding the things. Port to reduction. Uh, port to reduction and possessions, obligations, transactions and relations, reduction is called Nishparigraha. Less luggage, more comfort. Okay, the more possess, the more burdensome. Less possession means a less burden. <laughs> That's why intelligent people, all sadhus and sannyasis, why they don't possess uh, and a lot of luxuries, uh, things, possessions and all. Nah, they are intelligent. They know the burden <laughs> of those possessions. Hmm? Paramardhananda Swamiji, many people offer anything, Swamiji gives that to his students, <laughs> any house or place or anything, 
he suggests you take, you take, you take. He never take anything. Hmm? Mahatmas, sadhus can get lot of things. But if you take them, you are trapped. <laughs> you are trapped. Really, they are giving samsara to you. <laughs> so that intelligent acharya never accept any gifts also from anyone. And then nishparigraha means even gifts also. We should not give too many gifts to sadhus, mahatmas, acharyas and making their life burdensome. Okay, we should not give unnecessary things. They want only cloth, food, that's all, <coughs> shelter, nothing else. If you want to provide, give bhiksha. If you want to provide, give vastra. Don't give any other gifts. You pay making that uh, one Rishikesh, Puja Swamiji used to tell one story. One uh, sadhu <laughs> collected the bhiksha patrams or dabbas, you know, dabba, 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 to get the bhiksha. And he collected so many dabbas <laughs> to collect the bhiksha and accumulated all dabbas in the kutia in his small hut. And uh, everywhere dabba, 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 nardam. <laughs> we became a dabba swami. Dabba swami and nardam, full of dabbas, boxes, nardam. So, and the karatala bhiksha tarutala vasaha nardam. A simple life and high thinking is real acharya. Simple life, high thinking. There is no any you know, luxurious life. What for? The more simple life, more peaceful. <laughs> more luxurious and more possessions and more samsara. That is the indication of samsara. There will be worry also again. That's why even if at all it comes uh, to the right hand, give it again with the other hand to others. Pass on, pass on, pass on. Intelligent person, pass on everything to others and simply sitting quietly, relaxly, intelligent. <coughs> Nishparigraha. Parigraha means accumulation. Nishparigraha means not accumulating. Next, 28. <coughs> Teshu Nityam Mahabhaga Mahabhageshu Matkathaha Sambhavanti Hita Nrunam Jushatam Prepunantyagam By that Satsanga Tesham Nityam He Mahabhaga O oh, great one, Hindu Dhava, Teshu Nityam, Teshu Mahabhageshu, Matkatha Nityam Sambhavanti. So from those um, great Acharyas, Mahabhageshu Teshu, those um, Acharyas, great Acharyas, what do they do every day? Nityam Matkatha. Matkatha Hita, they talk about the Shreyas, Dharma and Moksha. Matkatha means um, teaching about Bhagavan. They are teaching about me. Krishna Leela is going on somewhere, Ramayanam is going on somewhere, some uh, Narayanam is going on somewhere. Well, see, you go see any many many ashramas uh, in our country, everywhere some Katha Kalakshepa. Talking about what even you see in internet also, YouTube also, how many talks are coming, how many great, great uh, scholars, uh, sadhus are talking about Bhagavan's glory. Teaching about Bhagavan is the one meaning of Matkatha. And another meaning, Matkatha means teaching given by Bhagavan. We are learning Bhavuddhava Gita. What am I teaching? Teaching given by Bhagavan, I am giving to you. I am not uh, uh, giving um, the glory of Bhagavan only, but I am talking the teaching given by Bhagavan. Bhagavad Gita is a teaching given by Bhagavan. That's why how many times we saw Bhagavad Gita? Nearly eight times I taught whole Bhagavad Gita. Eight times hmm? in different places. 
It's a great, I want to, a life long, I want to teach Bhagavad Gita. So much is there. How much you can study Bhagavad Gita, still, still you can feel ever fresh and ever no, sweet Bhagavad Gita teaching. Teaching of Bhagavan. That is uh, two meanings you can take. Teaching about Bhagavan, teaching uh, um, given by Bhagavan. Who does that? Uh, all santaha, great acharyas. Hita sambhavanti. By that, what will happen? Shreyo marga. They will turn your life into Shreyo marga. Shreyo marga. From prayas, from artha kama, they turn your life towards dharma moksha. Artha kama associated with uh, anatma. They say, therefore, Ardha Kama drop, too much don't run, minimum food, minimum shelter, minimum clothing is there, enough, good, thank you, say Bhagavan, thank you Bhagavan, oh Lord, oh God, Ishwara, I am very, very happy, you should say that, simple, simple, Bhagavan is also very happy, then um, his other hand is busy to give moksha, then he says, Come on, I am ready to give you moksha honor. The day, and the prayers, special prayers reduce. Special prayers, and I ended up uh, grandson, granddaughter, like people have special prayers. Lot of pray, extra prayers, special prayers, and nale samsaram and Reduce special prayers. Loka samastha sukhino bhavantu. Pray for everyone. All are included in that. Why special prayers? As long as you do in special prayers, Bhagavan keep other hand tightly. That is moksha purushartha. Dharma purushartha, moksha purushartha, he cannot give. Because you are asking always something or other through special prayers. How can he give? If you ask for dharma moksha, Ah, secret, I am telling you. If you ask for dharma and moksha, Bhagavan give ardha and kama also. This is the secret. Secret rahasyam. Hmm? Bhagavan, how can he leave you? If you ask for dharma and moksha, ardha kama are included. That's what I used to say. In that uh, game, you know, they put uh, dayam and that uh, four dots will be there. All in Chitra Yugas, three Yugas, and uh, in Brahma Sutra we saw that in one Upanishad, I think, uh, Chandogya, and another side two, another side one dot. Then if you put four, in four number, three are included or not? Three are included. This is again very nice if you understand, Dharma, Artha, Kama are included in moksha. If you ask for moksha, other three Bhagavan will give. He has to give. There is no doubt in that. Because it is his duty. Responsibility. Who said? Bhagavan himself said. Ananyas chintayanto maam yejana paryupasate tesham nityabhi yuktanam yogakshemam vahamiham namamudhi liye swaminiyana namunum adha Vishwasaha, Shraddha. Bhagavan words, you just ask, I want moksha, that's all. All other things you take care of. I want to listen Shastra. I want strength, mental strength, physical strength to study Shastra. Buddhi, intellectual strength also, I want. Please give. I want moksha. No, demand that you can command. Bhagavan becomes servant of you in providing artha, kama and dharma. Bhagavan becomes servant means he loves you like anything. He loves you. Servant in the sense what? He is so happy. So happy. Jnani itu atma iva me matam mama priyaha he said. How can you deny that word? How can you forget that in 12th chapter of Bhagavad Gita? Therefore, become a Tevra Mumukshu. 
ask for that. Don't ask for special prayers. How long? Adi veenu, idhi veenu anna. He will take care of. Let him take care of. It is not my responsibility. Avar da panna no ella ave. Enak avar veenu, avar enak veen nidhi panna no, panna no nidhi avar ishta. Apadhi adi irukkanu. So, all of the easiest thinking. Okay. Mahabhageshu matkadha sambhavanti hitaha. Hita after hita full stop. So, Shreyaha dharma moksha will happen in that person once he associate with them. Because of that what? Nrudam jushatam agham prapunanti. Because of that, they wiped out the papam. They wiped out the papam or sin of this person, which is obstructing this person not to come to Vedanta study, which is obstructing, that will wipe it off. That papam will go away. Oh, Dhava, you are so fortunate one. Next shloka, 29, page 319. Thaye shunvanti gayanti hyanumodanti chadrutaha matpara shraddhadhanascha bhaktim vindanti te mai. Those people who are having satsanga always Pururavas has understood that. ता ये ता हा श्रुण्वंति लिसनिंग हु एवर लिसनिंग टू द टीचिंग्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड श्रुण्वंति ये ता हा गायन्ति हु एवर सिंग और चैंट द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड टीचिंग आल्सो इज अ टाइप ऑफ गाय सिंगिंग ओनली वी आर आल्सो सिंगिंग नो मेनी टाइम्स Anumodanti and they enjoy also, they appreciate a teaching. Teacher also with joy, teacher teaches and the students also all of you like, no, enjoying while talking. I am talking, you are all enjoying. Anumodanti, while listening and while talking, they enjoy, appreciate. Gayanti means reading also can come under Gayanti. ये ताह मत्पराहा श्रद्धाधानास्चे मत्पराहा दे आर कमिटेड टू मी दे आर देर प्राइम जॉब इज दिस ओनली लिसनिंग टू भगवान से टीचिंग आर टीचिंग टू अदर्स भगवान से टीचिंग ये दर टीचिंग आर लिसनिंग दिस टू विल हैपन आर सम पीपल डू टीचिंग आल्सो लिसनिंग आल्सो after learning, listening long length of time, what we will do? I used to do like that only. While I was teaching also, I used to attend Swamiji class. I was teaching and attending all classes. So, oh, that is so, gives so joyful. I am very, very joyful. Because of that, listening and teaching, both can, both are possible. For some people. <laughs> Shraddha dhana, those who are having Shraddha. Shraddha on Bhagavan, Shraddha on Bhagavan's teaching. Bhaktim Vindanti, they attain first Ekarupa Bhakti, worshipping Bhagavan in one Rupa. That's why these bhajans and slokas, stotrams, why I am uploading, why I am sending to all of you. By listening to that, mind gets purified. It comes from out of that worldly entanglements. For some time. The more you listen to the stotrams, stuti of Bhagavan, your mind gets purified without your knowledge. That is the purpose of stotrams. That is the purpose of bhajans. So not just uh, those bhajans I sang 30 years back. That bhajans only we are uploading. And that stotrams I have chanted 30, 35 years back. All are recorded. Just we are uploading now. Hmm? So, these are all Gayanti, Vindanti, Bhaktim, Mahi. Bhaktim, Vindanti means they get Ekarupa Bhakti, then Vishwarupa Bhakti, then Arupa Jnanam.
because of listening to such acharyas about me and singing, they get bhakti first, eka rupa bhakti. Later, next bhakti, that and all description comes. Move in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om